This is the dramatic moment when three Russian soldiers decided they'd had enough of Putin's war, and abandoned their stricken T-62 on the battlefield. They'd been sent to the front lines to face a 21st century army, with a tank their grandfathers might be more familiar with. After sustaining heavy damage, smoke can be seen emerging from the antique vehicle. Rather than await the final blow, this crew wisely decided to run home to Russia rather than become another statistic in Putin's war. As fighting rages on in eastern and southern Ukraine, with new offensives and counteroffensives kicking off weekly, Russia's military is facing a growing tank deficit as it reinforces or reconstitutes decimated units to feed back into the fight. Imagery confirms Russia has lost at least 760 main battle tanks in combat in Ukraine by June 7, the majority relatively modern T-72B3 and T-80 tanks, though the true total is surely higher. A video in May revealed Moscow has begun tapping its inventory of retired T-62 tanks, a type introduced into service in 1961, delivering a trainload into the occupied city of Melitopol in southern Ukraine. The T-62 MiZ and reactive armor-equipped T-62 MVs were later spotted in the adjacent Kherson Oblast, where Russian troops are on the defensive against Ukrainian forces attempting to liberate a substantial swath of their country. The T-62 is something of the middle child of Soviet-era tanks, entering service in between the more successful and ubiquitous T-54 and T-72. Indeed, the design's lumpy turret makes it strongly resemble the preceding T-54, but the longer T-62 can be distinguished by the wider spacing between its five road wheels. It's undoubtedly a bad sign for Russia that it's compelled to dip into inventory of retired tanks rather than use better armored T-72s and T-80s. Moreover, the requirement for a fourth crew member, loader, doesn't fit with Russia's existing training and manning structures. That said, Russia is estimated to have around 10,000 tanks in storage, including 2,500 T-62s, suggesting there are undoubtedly thousands more T-72s and T-80s that can yet be reactivated. Likely, though, many were in too poor of a condition to be refurbished and deployed as quickly as the T-62 MiZ dispatched to Ukraine, which seem likely to be shunted to second-rate pro-Russian separatist forces. In a head-to-head -head fight against Ukrainian tanks, primarily T-64s, but also T-72s and T-80s, T-62 MiZ will be at a grave disadvantage due to inferior sensors, fire control, armor and armor penetration. But tank-on-tank -tank battles remain relatively rare in Ukraine, and T-62s remains perfectly capable of lobbing 115mm shells downrange to blast infantry, fortifications and lighter armored vehicles. Lacking adequate personnel to simultaneously attack and defend territory in Ukraine, Russia is trying to lean on its deep inventory as a substitute. The T-62 delivery thus shows Moscow is compelled to dig deeper as it exhausts its most modern weapon system in combat, even though the T-62 is even more vulnerable than the hundreds of Russian T-72s and T-80s knocked out or abandoned in combat. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next video. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.